I'll wash your thesaurus out with soap. Let's get going. Which of these is not a dirty word? Slatternly, abluted, bedraggled, or squalid? Take a shot, please. Now, a slattern is a woman who's a sleaze or a slob. So, I can do this <gasps> as often as I want. No one will call me slatternly. Uh -oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'd like to make a pharmaceutical withdrawal. Here's the question. At what bank would you most likely make a suppository deposit? Federal Savings and Topical Cream, First Bank of the Painful Injection, National Bank of the Anus, or Credit Union of the Mouth? Um, no. Watch and learn. It melts in your ass, not in your hands. And don't forget there's a penalty for early withdrawal. Crystal, jazz, free, zero, black, blue. That deserves a one gun salute. Which of the following would not satisfy a USDA food pyramid daily requirement for me, a 31 to 50 year old male? 64 seedless grapes, 21 cups of popcorn, 4 cups of raw kale, or 2 small trout. Actually, 4 cups is not enough according to the USDA. I'm supposed to eat 6 cups of vegetables a day. And here goes cup number 6. Uh oh. Oh, oh god. Towel! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I need a drink. Where can a guy get a drink around here? Good luck. Uh. All of the element symbols in their names. Which band would be using the wrong symbol? Iron Maiden, Nickelback, Led Zeppelin, or Silver Chair? The symbol for silver is AG. S is the symbol for sulfur. <laughs> And there's no such thing as a sulfur chair. <laughs> Until now. I'm taking medicine because I'm having trouble with eructations. I have an eructile dysfunction. What am I having trouble getting up? My arms, my belches, my IQ, or my airplane? To eruct is to belch. Something I'm having trouble doing. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven, I'm cured! It's a miracle! We're all the biggest losers. If contestants on The Biggest Loser were judged with a Scoville scale, what would they have to do in order to win? Throw the best curveball, absorb the highest amount of UV rays, be the spiciest contestant on the show, or split in half the cleanest when hit with a chisel. The Scoville scale, or the Scoville organoleptic test, is a scale for measuring the spiciness of peppers. Come to think of it, eating really spicy foods the night before a weigh-in on The Biggest Loser might be a good weight loss strategy. This reminds me, I actually just ate at Taco Bell a few hours ago and... Excuse me, what was I saying? I forget what I was saying. Up next, I read it for the articles. Man, I am still so stuffed from dinner last night. Eating at the Chinese buffet always makes me feel so curvy. Like I'm really filling out in all the right places, you know? Anyway, let's take a bite out of this. <coughs> Excuse me. Fortune cookie. Pisces is a fish, Capricorn a goat, and Sagittarius the archer. All killable creatures. Libra, however, is represented by an inanimate object. Scales. <coughs> Although I have to admit, I've killed a few scales in my day. <coughs> oh, big lunch. The National Weather Service defines blizzards as storms with enough snow in the air to limit visibility to a quarter of a mile or less. After I eat one, it's not the visibility that's a problem, but rather the intense blowing winds. Just desserts. I order just desserts. 
Oh boy, that last question kind of kind of got to me. Not many people know this, but I'm lactose and tolerant. Say I, you, and we all scream for ice cream because we're lactose intolerant. Which dessert are we least likely to scream for? Soft serve, sorbet, gelato, or frozen custard? Now pay attention. Using no dairy products and made, as far as I can tell, mostly of fruit and ice, sorbet would be the least likely to make us scream. This is great. I can eat all the sorbet I want and not have to worry about... Mm -hmm. That had nothing to do with dairy. That was just a fart. <laughs> no, but that is how I met my last girlfriend. In hindsight, that probably should have been a red flag. <laughs> Let me show you something. Now, Flatus is divine inspiration, so the sound and smell of my farts would be much like the voice of God. <laughs> and apparently God had boiled eggs for dinner last night. Good Lord, open a window in here! And now, the crate depression. What would you find in a loot crate box that was curated by archaeologist Howard Carter? King Tut beef jerky, a Rosetta Stone iPad cover, Dead Sea Scrolls underwear, or a Marie Antoinette bobblehead? I love this part. <laughs> I have a pretty sophisticated explanation about why this answer is so intellectually amusing, but instead... I love this part. A fermata is when you hold the same note for longer than you normally would. It's challenging, but luckily, as a classically trained performer, I'm able to pull laughter from deep down in my... Well, you get the idea. It's time for... I don't trust facts, I trust my gut. Hold on. As a trivia host, I should have known that mayonnaise was questionable. My lunch is disagreeing with me, and it's omitting a lot of viable counter-arguments. Which means it's using which fallacious persuasion technique? Ad hominem attack, moving the goalposts, cart stacking, or fallacy fallacy. Let's see how that shook out. Ad hominem is a personal attack, you idiot. Card stacking is making one side look a lot stronger by ignoring the viable arguments of the opposing view. Okay, we've reached a compromise. But you really don't want to know what I gave up to get there. <laughs> 